Hey everybody. I thought I'd try posting a vlog. Uh, maybe doing a few clips here and there over the next few days. Uh, inspired by my friend Mike Deacon. He does these every week. It's a lot of filming and editing, Mike. But I'm going to give it a shot. Anyway, I'm out running errands. I'm at the grocery store and I'm leaving right now. I needed a couple things, but I'm trying to get out of the parking lot. Nobody wants to let me back at my car. And now I'm going to head over to the plastics shop. And I don't know if you all who are not in California or are not in the U.S. know what TAP Plastics is. TAP Plastics. We have it here in California. I don't know how far widespread they are. But they are a store that just sells things made out of plastics and acrylic. And you can have things cut to order. It's the best place to get squeezy bottles. <laughs> I need some squeezy bottles. Um, it's the cheapest place short of ordering them from Amazon or something. Um, I like Amazon, but sometimes I just want to go buy stuff. I also want to see if they can create an extension table for my little craft sewing machine so that I can do more freeform sewing on it. And I know they can probably create it for me, but I don't know how expensive it's going to be. So we're going to head over there and ask them and find out. Now if I can just get out on the road and get over there in the San Jose traffic, which is terrible. Alrighty, let's give it a try. Stuck in traffic. Doesn't that mean all? Of course it is. There's road construction. Starting rush hour. Mm. Here. Yay. Let me go ahead and see what I can find. I'll be right back. If you hear that, that's the air conditioner. It's really loud because it's really hot. Alright, so I got some 16 ounce bottles, two of them. These were 90 cents. I got some 8 ounce bottles. 60 cents and I got a bunch of squeezy bottle tops 25 cents and they're going to build me a custom table extender for my little mixed media sewing machine um, for a lot cheaper than you can get it online and they're going to custom make it for me so gotta love tap plastics I'm going to put the link to their site in the description below they do have stores across the country um, and you can, I think, order from their website. So, yeah, I don't know if they do international orders or anything. They probably do, but check it out. Um, and you might have a store like them near you, so you can see. All right, let's see if we can get over to the mailbox place to get my mail. So it's uh, Wednesday, September 6th. I think so. Whatever that first Wednesday is in September 2017, that's the day it is today. I think it's the 6th. We're out running errands. I had to stop creating today in my art room because everything was wet, the computer was being finicky, and the camera was out of power and needed to be recharged. I think somebody was trying to tell me something. So we're out running errands and getting groceries and, you know, normal stuff. So, I'll be back. I have to say, I intensely dislike driving in traffic. It's not even 3 o'clock yet, and the freeway going back towards my house to get the mail is bumper to bumper. What the heck is with that? Seems like we don't have rush hour in the morning or in the afternoon anymore. It's just rush hour all day long. I really do dislike it. Okay, we're headed to the P.O. box now to pick up the mail. I've been doing a little bit more ordering for Wish.com, so there might be kind of a lot of stuff in the box. We'll find out. Hopefully, as my husband says, not too many envelopes with windows, a.k.a. bills. Yeah, you don't like your windows. No windows. <laughs> Alright, let's go head over there and go see what's available. So I got my new inhaler. I get to start on a new asthma medicine. Yay! And an uh, Amazon box. That's all that was there. 
So that's okay. No windows. Bob will be happy. Those of the, you that don't know, Bob is my husband. He's the one who handles the bill peen and he does not like windows. <laughs> All right, so let's go home and unpack and relax and see what's in that Amazon box. And maybe have a bowl of figs or cherries because I feel like having some fruit. All right. Let's see if I can make it past DMV without anybody making me completely insane. Yeah, good luck with that. You really think... I think you're supposed to know how to drive before you go to DMV to get your license, but... At least not over here. We'll find out. Oh, it looks clear today. Yay. my gym face. <laughs> it's me first thing in the morning. I've barely had two cups of coffee. My hair looks terrible. My face looks terrible. You see my earbuds because we're going to the gym. I'm going to get myself my fat butt on the treadmill. Determined. All right. So that's the first thing we're going to do today. I managed to get over here and pass the DMV without anybody doing anything tremendously stupid. Woohoo! <laughs> like driving in the middle of the road, because that's what they do by DMV. All right. So let's get in and let's work out. Looks like I'm back in my gym clothes, but I'm not really. It's just really, really hot again. Like the whole summer has been hot in California. And when I'm saying hot, I mean hot, like 100 plus, like every day. We look forward to the cool days when it's only 90. <laughs> uh, anyway, I've been spending the last few hours filming and creating a bunch of really fun good things for my dear friend Jerry Bellini who has an Etsy shop called Recycled Parts for Art. She sells interesting unique salvaged and vintage items for all of us creatives to create with and so I've been filming some videos for her for her shop that I think you're all going to find some of the projects that I'm doing and, and some of the other artists she has helping her are creating. 
with our things. I think we've got some really interesting stuff coming out for you over the next few months. Something to look forward to. I mean, I was having so much fun, I even went back out into the garage, which for those of you who don't know, used to be my old art space. And I had half the garage, my husband had the other half, and I had my own toolbox full of tools and drills and screwdrivers. And I, love, I love tools. There's a little secret. So I went out into the garage and I found my own old drill and fired that puppy up and I was drilling holes and stuff and yeah, I was having fun. I should have probably got some footage for you all, but I didn't do that. Uh, for those who are wondering, it's Thursday, September 7th. You would never know this is a neighborhood that people live in and that you should only be going 25 miles an hour and not 50. <laughs> Holy cow. All right, so we're off to get the mail. Then I'm going to eat a late lunch. As usual, I've been creating and forgot to eat, so I need to do that. See, this is why I don't warm my hair up too much because you can see like all my fat neck. <sighs> anyway. Started my new medicine today, and so far so good. I mean, I've only taken a couple of doses, but um, this new asthma medicine seems to be working except for the occasional cough, and I don't seem to be too dizzy. Well, see how I feel as the week goes along, um, and I get more of it in me. It's called Pulmacort, I think. So it's a little different, so we'll see if it works. I don't mind having to take it, but I don't want to feel like I'm drunk all the time, especially when I don't drink. Uh, anyway, all right, let's go see what's in the mailbox. My husband's a Freemason and he got his monthly newsletter. And I got my package of stencils from Mr. Mike Deacon. So we have more inventory in the shop, yay! Uh, for those of you, of you that don't know, Mike in the United Kingdom helps me get my stencils manufactured. Um, yeah. He's a really great artist, has his own line of stuff, and he's got a great YouTube channel. If you don't know who he is, you should check him out. I'll try to link these people in the description, but if I forget, somebody remind me, because, you know, I'm always forgetting the links. Or at least I feel like I am. All right, let's go home and have some lunch because it's like almost two o'clock and I still haven't eaten lunch yet. All right, and I need to sit down and have some water too. I feel really thirsty. Because I'm making art all afternoon and I haven't been drinking my water like I was supposed to. That's not good. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday morning, September 8th. Excuse me, I haven't taken my asthma meds yet today. I am, what time is it? It is 8 o'clock in the morning. I've been up for a couple hours. And I am having yet another early morning art business crafty discussion with more art friends. Including Shannon Green and Rosemary Morris and a few others. And <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty funny. It's not YouTube advertiser friendly so we'll not discuss what we're talking about but it's pretty funny um yeah anyway we're trying to help shannon with the name of her new business and yeah i think i think we went off on the wrong direction somewhere uh anyway i'm also trying to get the writing done for all the different art facebook groups i'm in this morning and uh Make sure my video for my year 2017 is live and that that post is pinned and all of that jazz. Today I have to start working on my design team, team call video and postings for 2018. There will be a design team for my design stamp design and, and a stencil design line uh, for 2018. So if you're interested at all. I will try to remember to post a link to the questionnaire you have to fill out. You're going to have to download and answer the questions and then email them to me. Um, I'll post a, a link down in the video description, so check it out. You should check out the video descriptions on the videos anyway, because they have links to all kinds of fun stuff, no matter the artist generally. 
on mine, there is a link to a link tree um, that has all of the different places you can find me on the internet, including my Etsy shop, my website, my email newsletter, all the Facebook groups, like everything. I think my LinkedIn page is even on there. Don't know why you'd need that, but I think it's on there. Um, so yeah, I also have to work on, there was something else. Oh, I have to work on um, the My Year 2017 group that's going to be for next year. We are going to have it next year. Um, it's not going to be called My Year 2018. It's going to be something different. So we're working on ironing all those details out. But stay tuned if you're a uh, member of the current My Year 2017 group and you're interested in going forward with it. Um, we're switching things up a bit. Um, still art and user friendly and still free. And um, still fun and creative, I think. So um, I think that you might be interested, so stay tuned because we're, we're ironing all those details out. We're just about ready to roll it out. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go back to my typing so I can get to the gym because yeah, obviously, yeah, gym here, gym shirt, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to get going and I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Friday, I don't know, September 8th, and I may have said that already today. Have you ever had one of those days where just everything you touch, nothing seems to go right? Started out like a pretty good day, and yeah, so nothing is, you know, <laughs> it's just, it's been one of those days. Nothing is horribly wrong, but, you know, a lot of little things that went wrong. Hmm. All right, so the husband's going to be back any minute, home from work, and we're going to go out to dinner with some friends. I've shut my desktop off for the day, and... It's a little earlier than I normally do that, but I'm just done with that. I couldn't even get iMovie was just having issues. Like I was getting the, I have a Mac, so the little rainbow wheel of death. Those of you out there that have Macs know what I'm talking about. And it just, yeah, it was one of those days, like I said. So anyway, tomorrow, there's always another day though. So we'll see how tomorrow goes. All right, see you then, bye. I just give up on my hair lately. It just does what it wants to. I don't know what to do with it. Ay -ay -ay. Anyway, it is Saturday, September 9th. It's just after lunchtime. It's almost one o'clock. I've been busy this morning um, trying hard to stay off of social media um, and Facebook and mess Facebook Messenger in particular. I have a lot of editing to do and stuff to catch up on. So the house is quiet. I'm home alone. And that's a good thing because I have the opportunity to really, and I'm looking over there because I don't know why. I have the opportunity really to um, catch up and get a lot of stuff done. So I'm, I'm working on that. And I got some Etsy orders that have to go out. And I'm almost out of fluid matte medium. How is that possible? Again, I don't know. I must use it a lot. And I don't have any backup jars. It's all gone. So I guess I'm headed over to the art store in a little bit. I'm going out to dinner with the kids later, so that's going to be a lot of fun. They're taking me out to this really great um, custom burger place that we have here in San Jose called The Counter. If you have never been there and you're in the area, you should go. You can order hamburgers. I want to say like something crazy, like 350 different ways like they have bread options, meat options, vegetable options, um, <laughs> um, sauce and spread options. Like there's options on options on options. Like it's unlimited, the combinations that you can do. Anyway, it's pretty cool. So we're going to go over there for dinner and that's it. Just catching up on stuff and, you know, trying to, um, just make some art and have some fun and enjoy the peace and quiet. And yeah, you know, life's been kind of crazy this week and there's been some unexpected bumps in the road and I'm handling them. I'm good. So, and I came up with some new, I think, good stencil designs for 2018. Mr. My friend, Mr. Mike Deacon um, is um, taking a look at them. I'll um, get his opinion on them next week. And um, if you don't know who Mike Deacon is and you don't know his channel, 
want to tease you and ask you, what are you living under a rock? Um, <laughs> but in all seriousness, you should go check him out. He's here on YouTube. Um, he has he's his, uh, his own line of products and uh, his own design line, um, which is connected to his Etsy shop. So, And all of that information is on his YouTube channel. So I will try to remember to connect it down below. All right, and I'm filming Explorations of Me, which I do with Cindy Utter and a couple of other people. Um, I'm trying to get all of 2017 filmed, and I think I have it. So I'm just trying to edit it right now and make sure I didn't make any big mistakes, and, and we're good to go. All right, that's it for right now. I'll be back. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. I am on my way to... Hey guys, I'm on my way to um, get some more Matt Medium. I'm on out again. Uh, anyway, I'm on my way to Michael's to do that. Get my, going to pick my mail up on the way back. I need a couple of other things. Just out writing errands on Saturday afternoon. You know, normal. While video saves at home, renders at home. Yeah. Anyway, normal. All right, I'll be back. I have one question today. Why the heck is our Michaels store nearest to my house, like in the worst part of the area by my house? I mean, it's in a really bad neighborhood. We have the homeless people in the parking lot, gang members hanging out at the coffee shop. Uh, somebody was murdered behind the Michaels. They found it by the dumpster. <laughs> it's really bad. But I don't want to drive to the other side of town to go get Matt Medium, for God's sake. I just parked the car and Lord Almighty. I just realized I have to deal with the cinnamon pine cones, which make me wheeze. Let's hope the new medicine works. Like, you know. I've got the radio down, the air conditioner off, so we're going to do this quick because it's dang hot in here. But I was just inside of Michael's and I made the mistake of walking by. I was trying to walk around the candles and the potpourri and the cinnamon pine cones so I didn't start wheezing. I'm, the problem with that is I walked by a Halloween mixed media display and scrapbooking display. So I had, and it, it was on sale. So I got Recollections Halloween eyeballs. <laughs> I actually have a couple of projects I think I might want to use these for, but they are too cool. I couldn't pass them up. I got the Tim Holtz, what is this? Tim Holtz ephemera, Halloween ephemera pack. Again, couldn't pass it up. Most of those images I think I could use for a number of different things, not just Halloween. Um, Tim Holtz skulls. Couldn't pass them up. People are staring at me because I'm talking to myself. And Tim Holtz stamp and stencil set. Which one is this? What does it say? It just says, um, it says M I T H M M 112 on the back. It is a Halloween one. It doesn't say, but it but it's a Halloween one. So how cool is this? I'm gonna try to see. Can you see that? So it's got the clear stamp and the stencil. And the stamp is cool. I love the stencil. So anyway, all right. Now let's go get the mail. Right yes, back. I did get my matte medium. <laughs> all right, everything with a coupon because you know or on sale. You know, I fixed my hair. Not that you could tell. It still looks like crap. <laughs> anyway, I finished filming all the things I needed to film this week and editing everything. I, I went and picked up the mail. Yeah, now I have to do um, put things away because my dear friend Cindy Utter sent me in a big, nice, fabulous box of stuff. Um, and the, of course, the Tim Holtz stuff he saw that I picked up. So, and I'm going to create a new meme. I took some pictures a second ago in my kitchen and I'm going to, while things are editing, or while things are editing, while things are uploading on YouTube, I'm going to use my iPad to edit and create a new meme that I think I'm going to try to upload to my website today. 
and uh, package the giveaway stuff for the recycled arts recycled parts for art uh, group and I think that's it right now all right I'll be back <laughs>um, some parts of the internet and social media, Facebook messenger and that sort of thing. And the constant dinging, (laughs) the constant dinging of that. And you know what? I love you all, but I have to say, I don't miss it. (laughs) Um, when I need to ask a question or check on things, I can go in there and when I don't want to be bothered, I can just have the notifications turned off. I know that sounds probably mean to some of you, but I'm not missing it. Uh, I'm not really going to explain why I did it. That's, yeah, I'm going to keep that to myself, but um, let's just say I needed it. And uh, I've gotten some art done. I'm going to do some more filming today. I'm just about caught up on stuff, so yay. All right, that's it. I'll check in in a bit, and I will see you soon. So I keep forgetting that I'm filming a vlog this week and forgetting to turn the camera on and I just spent like 10 minutes talking to the camera and it wasn't on. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So yesterday, uh, I spent some time with my daughter uh, over uh, at the vet with her and her new puppy. She asked me if I could come with her to the first puppy visit, so I did. Uh, super cute little puppy. At some point, we'll show him on or her. Sorry, her on camera. And uh, so she and Polly is her boyfriend are figuring out how to be new puppy parents and it's a learning experience for them, but they'll do it. It'll be fine. Today is Tuesday, September 12th and um, I've already been to the gym. I started off my day before I even got to the gym trying to shut the window in the new bathroom shower. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, you should follow me on social media. I've been posting pictures of our remodel of our bathroom on Facebook. Anyway, um, I bumped my elbow into the on and off valve and yeah, you can guess what happened next. I gave myself a cold shower, fully clothed. So that was an interesting way to sh start the day. Um, my mom has bought an iPad over the last week and um, she's in her mid 70s and she's going from a Windows based system or her Android phone to an Apple product. Um, so it's been a little bit of a learning challenge for her. So I've spent quite a few days, an hour or more at a time going over things with her and trying to show her how to do certain things. We've done a couple video chats, which is also new for her. She doesn't know how to do so. That's been interesting and um, working furiously on things for 2018. The design team call for my product line is um, out and there'll be a link to that application in the description below. If you, any of you are thinking of that you might be interested in applying, please do. I would love to hear from you. Um, we are also going to be continuing the My Year 2017 process. Um, that art journaling class into free it's a free class into next year and it will be calling it something new however and it'll also have a brand new Facebook group um, so we're working on finalizing those deals those details and we'll be announcing that soon if you're interested in joining that um, watch for that if you have suggestions for that for next year things you would like to see us do differently or do that we aren't doing leave a comment in the description i would love to i mean in, on this video and i would love to um read those um also if you um have particular products or designs you'd like to see come out in my product line next year um if you have something in particular you're looking for that i that nobody's doing or that i haven't done leave something in the just in the comments and i'll take a look at that um, I think that's it right now. I do think there was something else because, you know, I said I was talking to the phone for like 10 minutes and it wasn't on. It's just, it's one of those days. All right, so that's it right now, I think. And um, it's just about one o'clock, so I'm going to have some lunch and then go get my mail. Um... I'll be back. I can't think of anything else right at the moment, but I know there'll be something. Oh, I've been working on Shannon Green's Custom Keeper. That was the other thing. So I have a Custom Keeper from Shannon Green, and um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll try to link her video about it in the description below. i got a lot of things to link. You guys, if I forget something, somebody say something, please, and I'll add it in. Um, so there'll be a little video about that at some point because I've been decorating it, and it's made of repurposed materials for those of you who don't know um, and I've been sharing pictures of it on social media so like Instagram um, and Twitter so there is a link in the description already I know will I know for sure will be there to a site called Linktree and it's literally like a list of all the links of every single place you can find me on social media on the internet um, my Etsy shops on there my websites on there and all of that stuff so um, click on that and you can find me and follow me over there and see the pictures um, there was something else that just flew right out of my brain does anybody else have that problem yep, I don't know if I think of it I'll be right back was. <laughs> so I'm looking for your suggestions and input I have to do a video uh, that will show up here on YouTube for you all. But before it does, I do a written tutorial for the folks over on the email newsletter. I'm 
I have a couple of ideas of what I might do, but if you guys have any suggestions of something that you'd like to not only see me do here on YouTube, but get a written tutorial for over on my email newsletter, let me know and we'll, I'll see what I can do. Um, and if you want to sign up for the newsletter, go to that link tree link because the newsletter sign up thing is on there. Okay, that's it. I'm going to go have some lunch. I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm out in my backyard this morning. I have to paint some paint swatches on the back of my house because we're going to be repainting. And yeah, we don't know what color to pick. And we usually paint big swatches on the house. We kind of look like the clown house for a while. Last time we did it in the front of the house. This time we thought we would like to be less like the clown house on the block and do it in the backyard so less people can see. So anyway, I'm going to paint my colors. I'll probably be out back to see what you all think. And if I'm not talking very loudly, it's because it's like 7 o'clock in the morning. And yeah, I have only had half a cup of coffee, so sorry. Okay, so what do you all think? From left to right, each the center it would be the body of the house. One of the long strips would be the trim and the red is going to be the front door. The front door is already red. This one here is really similar to the current house color, which I don't know if I actually like. It's a little grayer and I don't know if I like any of those trims with that color. I don't know if I like that one. I think that one might be out already. And then we have this one that's more yellow, that actually more yellow than I thought it was. So let me know what you all think. All right, that's it for this week, I think. Go ahead, and I want you all to have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself, because you deserve it. Check out the video description for any links I promised you. And if I forget, somebody put a comment and remind me. All right, that's it, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye.